I believe our life here on earth is a school, a place we are sent to experience pain, to experience sadness, joy, every emotion known to man. And sometimes some of us can handle that, some of us cannot. But everything that happens in your life should be a learning experience. Uh, you know, you guys know I just lost Waldo yesterday, and I'm handling that a whole lot better than I thought I would. And I think part of that is because he passed away here at home with me. I'm sitting right next to him. I had my, his head in my hand. And just before he left this earth, he looked up at me and he gave me a look like, it's okay. And although it's hard, I shouldn't focus on being sad that he's gone because that's me. Okay, that's not bothering him right now. He's in a better place. That's me. I'm the one allowing that. And there should be some degree of sadness that I hold. And there is. But also, I look at the 12 years that I had him and all the happy times, all the goofy things he did, you know, and that makes me happy. And a lot of times, you know, like we'll just use a dog as an example. People are so overcome by sadness in, in that feeling, and I know that feeling all too well that they don't ever want to have another dog, you know, and that's not right. They don't have long lives like we do. We are put on earth as keepers of this earth, and most of the time we do a pretty poor job at that, especially with our animals. Uh, there, there's animals that are going through living hell right now because they were dumped or, you, you know. So the majority of us are not doing our part. Fortunately, I can say I'm at least trying to do my part with them. I can't take on a ton of them, but I got enough, and I've always had plenty ever since I've been here. And they've made my life, they've changed my life, and you have to learn from those experiences. Because if you don't learn, you're wasting your time here on earth. And it doesn't matter what if religion you follow, what your beliefs are. Uh, in the end, you leave this earth. Every living species of animals, every living species of plant lives and dies. And we have to accept that. And I believe it's something to look forward to rather than to dread. So many people spend their entire lives fearing death and preparing for it. And, you know, I don't think it's going to, I think it's going to be a great experience. But we don't know. We, we want to stay and live here as long as we, we can, which is a very, very, very short time in the eye of history very short time that we are here in fact it's so short in about if you pass away today more than likely in less than 50 years you know and this is after all your immediate family all your relatives pass away 50 to 60 years nobody will remember you at all period you will be erased Unless you did something extraordinary like a president or somebody, you were somebody famous. If you're the average person, you're going to be forgotten forever. And I don't think you're going to care because you're going to be somewhere else in a much better place. Wherever your soul, you believe it goes, uh, this is an experience that you have to embrace and figure out. So many people turn to drugs and are destroying their bodies, living on the street, 
injecting drugs, and they're wasting their life here. What kind of reward for that can there be? Um, if they have the same reward that I do, you know, I, I don't know. And maybe they do. I'm not the one to say. And I just dropped off my younger dog. Well, she's not younger. She's 10. My little dog, Rooster, to get her teeth removed. You know, there, there's, a, there's risk involved with that, so I'm a little nervous about that. But I've dropped hundreds of dogs off for surgery in my time doing the rescue. And very, very rarely does it go wrong. You know, they, get, they got it down to a science, and that's very routine. But if she had a middle finger, she would have threw it out at me as I was walking out that door after I dropped her off. And I don't blame She's never been away from me. So I'll pick her up in a few hours. She'll probably be tired. Uh, but it's going to be all right. And you just, you got to take what life throws at you and figure it out. That's about all you can do. Uh, where one door opens, that's a good say uh, phrase. Where one door opens and other or closes, another one opens. That has happened to me many many times. You never know where where life's going to lead you, and and do not be afraid to just take a chance once in a while. I did that moving here. I had other places I could go, and I just said, you know what, I'm going to take a chance. And come here and my whole life developed over that one decision had i went to one of the other locations you know where i had a job offer or whatever who's to say what would have happened uh maybe all of all all the situations would have worked out but you don't know that so never if there is a something presented to you that is out of the ordinary an opportunity, sometimes take it. Because if it doesn't work out, they can always go do something else. But sometimes we miss out on opportunities that were put right in front of our faces and we didn't even have a clue about it. And I'm sure that's happened in everybody's life at some point. Sometimes we never know how our life would have turned out had we done this, had we done that. Had we t taken this job, we, 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 we never know. And I don't think we're supposed to. We're just supposed to mold the life that we're given the best we can. And once things start flowing good, they, keep, they, they seem to stay that way. At least for me, they have. So uh, one, one good thing usually spawns many good things. And you can't take little disappointments, uh, losses. You can mourn. You can, you can be sad for a while, but then you got to move on and pick up and go. Because there's other people, there's other animals, there's whatever. They're depending on you. You can't sit and mope and mope and mope. Now, I know losing loved ones, uh, especially parents, spouses, children, is very tough to handle. But they do not want you here on earth just dwelling and being sad for the rest of your life over that. You have to just know that they're in a better spot and waiting on you and pick up and go on. You can't let ruin your own life by the loss of another because we all will die one day. Every single one of us. You can't. There's nobody, nobody known a man that has beaten that yet. And so... We, I will just say we, we don't die. We graduate and we leave this planet is what we do. So I'm handling losing my dog uh, pretty well. I've got blisters on my hands to remind me of burying him. It was a very personal experience. He died in my arms, you know. I'm sitting right next to him. The whole the whole process, and and then I buried him. And it's not like I took him to the vet 
and had him put down because when I do that, when I have to do that, I feel like I'm deceiving them. And, you know, the whole trip there, you're, you're talking comfort to them saying it's going to be okay. And you know, and you know, in your mind, what's going to happen. And I did not let him suffer. This was very sudden. Now, he was sick for a few weeks and then he improved and then he went regressed and then he improved again and then he really got sick again so he did not have an x-ray he had a physical examination maybe there was something cancer something that just could not cure it doesn't matter what it is he lived a good long life and he's gone now and i gotta move on i've got four other dogs and you know change change in a person's life happens all the time you just adjust and you do things a little different i'm sitting here right now with rooster she's gone and the whole and the house doesn't feel the same to me right now with her gone even though she'll go outside during the day i know she's not here so there's a different feeling and we we sense their presence you know when they're here or not here and I don't know. I don't know what I'm babbling on about all this time, but that's my take on it. Live life, mourn, get over it, and go on. Because we're probably doing that for nothing. Mourning is it's a selfish human trait, and we can't help it. But I guarantee you the people that have passed or the animals that have passed, they don't want you to mourn. Because they're they're celebrating, they're having a ball right now. And they're young again. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all the donations. Uh, in the name of Waldo to Furry Tales Rescue, remember this is Dogtober. Every single video, the revenue from all my videos every day goes to the rescue in full, 100%. I have links in the description if you would like to donate to them. If you would just like to donate to your local rescue, that is also great. Any rescue, they need support. And that is my focus of Dogtober the entire month. So thanks for watching. Happy trails.